Hey guys, it's Pucci. Guess what? Amazon's getting sued by the federal government, the FTC, and 17 states. They are being sued over allegations not only that it inflates online prices, but that it overcharges sellers. And there's one kicker that if you sell on Amazon, I think you're gonna love. So just wait. So US regulators in 17 states are suing Amazon over allegations the e-commerce behemoth abuses its position in the marketplace to inflate prices on and off its platform, overcharging sellers. And this is the part I want you to hear if you're an Amazon seller. Stifle competition. Now, do they stifle competition uh, among us third-party sellers? No, they do not. They stifle competition by having products, having their own products that they are selling on the Amazon, Amazon marketplace that is competition with third party sellers like myself. So what does that mean? Okay, what that means is if Amazon is on the item, that means if they're listing this item, if they have this microphone, okay? They have this microphone and they're listing the microphone and there's 20 other sellers, third party marketplace sellers that are listing, that are selling this mark, this, this microphone. Unless we are selling it for half probably what Amazon is selling it for, Amazon's going to get the buy box, which means Amazon's going to get the sales because how Amazon works is you get the buy box, you get the sales because when you go to a page on Amazon, you look at the page and you say, oh, here's this microphone. You click a buy, you see the price, you click buy now. You don't notice, most people don't notice, so there's 20 other sellers who might be selling the item for less uh, than the, buy, the person who's in the buy box, the one seller that's in the buy box. Now, we all know as Amazon sellers who have been doing this a long time that you don't compete with Amazon. If Amazon is on a listing, if they have this microphone listed, you move on to the next product. You're not, you're not going to compete with Amazon. You're not going to get the buy box. The only way you're going to get sales is on the very, very rare occasion where Amazon is going to share the buy box with someone who is an FBA seller or you have priced the item severely lower than Amazon, like much, much, much lower price than Amazon, uh, which we shouldn't have to do, but we do in order to compete a lot of times. Or um, Amazon runs out of stock and they're like, oh, okay, we can't sell that at $24.99. Now we're going to give it to the people who have it priced at 12 bucks, who nobody ever notices because they're not Amazon. Amazon uh, not only stifles competition, but they have an incredibly rare uh, or incredibly huge advantage over the third party marketplace sellers on Amazon. And we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about uh, how Amazon has grown uh, to the power that they are now in e-commerce, not only e-commerce, but commerce in general. We're going to talk about how Amazon used to only sell books. When I first started selling on Amazon, there were books. I remember when they tried to compete with eBay and they did Amazon auctions. Does anybody else remember that? So I really want to uh, start a dialogue here in the community. I want you to comment below and tell me what you think about this lawsuit, whether it's going to be good for us third party sellers, whether it's going to be bad for third party sellers. Uh, I mean, we don't want it to be bad for consumers either, but I, I'm so glad that they filed a lawsuit to finally go after Amazon for unfair business practices, stifling competition, monopolizing uh, products. So let's get into it, shall we? Now let me let me read some more about this. The lawsuit filed Tuesday in federal court is in Amazon's home state of Washington is a result of a years-long investigation into the company's businesses and one of the most significant legal challenges brought against it in its 30-year history. And I will say it's about time. Uh, I'm just going to go through and skim the rest of this article. Uh, the FTC and states that join the lawsuit, I'm surprised it's only 17, uh, 
allege Amazon is violating federal and state antitrust laws. Uh, they're asking the court to issue a permanent injunction and say that they say would prohibit Amazon from engaging in its unlawful conduct and loosen its monopolistic control to restore competition. That's exactly what Amazon does. They have a stranglehold on their site. They, they started as a site where people could go and sell books and buy books. Okay. Then they started selling everything. So what happened is they don't want the competition. They want people to buy from Amazon right or they want uh, people to buy from Amazon FBA sellers which means Amazon makes more okay uh, so the only people the only people who really ever get the buy box are Amazon or Amazon FBA sellers who are sending items into Amazon and Amazon's making more money more profits when they sell those items uh, the complaint accuses the company of engaging in anti-competitive practices Yes, through measures that deter sellers from offering lower prices for products on non-Amazon sites. An argument mirroring allegations made in a separate lawsuit filed last year by the state of California. Uh, Amazon, it says Amazon buries listings offered at lower prices on other sites. At the same time, it also charges sellers higher fees, forcing merchants to raise their prices on the platform. Yes. As well as other e-commerce sites in order to keep the product competitive on Amazon. Yeah, but that's not really, that's not really why Amazon, the, I mean, that is a reason, but it's not really why Amazon has deserved to be sued for so long. Uh, they note that Amazon is now exploiting its monopoly power to enrich itself while raising prices and degrading services for the tens of millions of American families who shop on its platform and the hundreds of thousands of businesses that rely on Amazon to reach them. Okay. Uh, Amazon said it's wrong on facts and the law. Amazon emailed uh, sellers. Uh, I'm not sure if it emailed all sellers, but it definitely emailed uh, some sellers at least, probably all of them, and I'll read that to you in just a minute. Uh, the FT, if the FTC gets his way, the result would be fewer products to choose from, higher prices, slower deliveries for consumers, and reduced options for small businesses. That's not true. That is, that is not true. That is Amazon trying to protect their monopoly. The lawsuit also accuses Amazon of degrading customers' experience by replacing relevant search results with paid advertisement, favoring its own brands over other products it knows to be of better quality and charging heavy fees that force sellers to pay nearly half of their total revenues to Amazon. So uh, it says, according to the anti-monopoly organization Institute for Local Self-Reliance, the cut sellers give to Amazon from the revenue is up from 35% in 2020 and 19% in 2014. And what is the reason for that? The reason for that is that in order to sell the products and compete with Amazon and other sellers, but to compete with Amazon, you have to be able to advertise your products. Now, where do you Amazon? Where do you advertise products on Amazon? Amazon. So Amazon takes the ad money. Also, if you are an FBA seller, which means fulfilled by Amazon, you send your products into Amazon, and Amazon takes more of a cut. They don't take the just 15% that they normally uh, take in standard listings. The lawsuit also says it compels sellers to use its logistic service fulfillment by Amazon. I just said that. In order to make their products eligible for Amazon Prime, even though many of them would rather use alternate alternative fulfillment services to get our customers. Yeah, I'd rather use my own warehouse and I would rather ship my own way than having to pay Amazon to do it in order to get the buy box. Now the buy box 
uh, if in case you don't know, it's the it's the gold standard for Amazon. You want to have the buy box. If there's a buy box on the listing, when something shows up on Amazon, you see it, you see the buy box price, bam. Most sellers, most buyers don't know that there may be 50 other sellers on that listing who may be selling it for less than the buy box price. Amazon chooses one seller, usually themselves or another FBA seller, and gives them the buy box so they get the sales. Some estimates show Amazon controls about 40% of the e-commerce market. That would not surprise me. A majority a majority of the sales on, on its platform are facilitated by independent sellers consisting of small and medium sized businesses and individuals. In return for the access it provides to its platform, Amazon rakes in billions of dollars through referral fees, that's the 15% I was telling you about, and other services like advertising which make its products sold by sellers more visible on the platform. The vast majority of third-party merchants also use the company's fulfillment service, yes, because you have to pretty much to get the buy box, to store inventory and ship items to customers. Amazon has been consistently raising fees for those reliant on the program and more recently imposed and then abandoned another fee on some who don't. Uh, yeah, that's talking about critics and whatever, consumer advocate advocacy groups applauded the lawsuit. I'm very curious if sellers are going to applaud the lawsuit. I certainly do because Amazon has treated their third party sellers like absolute garbage uh, for too long. And not only that, they make it an unfair marketplace. Their marketplace is supposed to be a marketplace. It's not supposed to be an Amazon store. They make it harder for third-party sellers to compete with them in order to make profits. Let's not even talk about if Amazon thinks that you do something wrong or against their policies or whatever. They won't pay you. They'll keep your money. They'll suspend you. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And when you call Amazon for customer support, you think, hey, I'm a customer. They're going to support me. Does not happen. Uh, I have one of my accounts uh, that I actually have had to get lawyers involved in order for Amazon to fix the account and pay me what they owe me. Now they paid out what they owe me, but they still have not fixed the account. So again, uh, my lawyer is going after them to try to get the account fixed because when you call in customer support and say, this doesn't make any sense, they are no help whatsoever. So guys, here is Amazon's letter. I almost forgot to include this. This letter came out, I'm not sure, today or yesterday. Uh, hello, yesterday the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, filed a lawsuit against Amazon alleging that some of our business practices violate antitrust laws. As your partners, uh, we know that this news may generate questions for you and our business together. This lawsuit does not change anything about our relationship with you or how we operate today. I mean, I'm just gonna interject. I hope that it changes how we operate with you in the future because you are not good to your sellers. The lawsuit represents the FTC's allegations, which must be reviewed by a court to determine if any of the claims have merit. While we respect the role the FTC has historically played in protecting consumers and promoting competition, we fundamentally disagree with the FTC's allegations. Of course they do. In order to demonstrate how the FTC's case could impact consumers and businesses that sell in our store, we published a blog post on About Amazon to address some key areas of the FTC. FTC's complaint and explain how Amazon's pro-competitive model actually works. Accordingly, we will contest this lawsuit and we will also continue inventing to put our customers, both consumers and the businesses that sell in our store, first. Our commitment to you and your success is unchanging. <laughs> yeah, I hope it changes. We remain focused on innovating and investing in tools and services to grow your business. Thank you for choosing to sell in our store. Now let me say, I really, really, really like to sell on Amazon. I just hate the way that Amazon treats third-party sellers. Um, the pro-competitive model on Amazon is great if Amazon were not a seller. Because when Amazon is a seller, all other sellers are down here. You understand that Amazon is up here on items 
that are on Amazon, if they have one, they're going to be first. They're going to show customers this first. And everybody else competes for the scraps. Okay, and if Amazon sees that you have a product down here that's doing really good, Amazon's going to say, hey, we're going to make that our own product under Amazon Basics, Amazon Essentials, or one of our brands. So that's how it works. It's very, very disheartening. I'm not even going to go to this link in the email if you want to search for it on Amazon. Uh, I encourage you to do so, but I don't really want to hear any more uh, of what Amazon has to say because they are continually, in my opinion, blowing smoke up people's butts. This says there has been speculation the agency would seek to force to a forced breakup of the retail giant, which is also dominant in cloud computing and has a growing presence in other sectors like groceries and healthcare. They're trying to get into everything. In a briefing with reporters, Khan dodged questions of whether that will happen. At this stage, the focus is more on liability. Uh, Amazon has long faced allegations of undercutting businesses that sell on its platform. Absolutely. By assessing merchant data and creating its own competing products that it then boosts on its site. Now, do you hear that? Okay. So I have this. And I'm selling this phone holder on Amazon. Amazon watches my sales. And as my sales continue to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow, Amazon Basics comes out with a phone holder that looks just like mine, but because they're Amazon and they can work great deals and companies and manufacturers want to deal with Amazon, they get it for a third of the price that I pay for it. So now they're in direct competition. They're using their unfair advantage as Amazon to create an Amazon Basics product that completely cuts my sales. They're going to promote the, their product because it's free for them to promote on their platform. It's not free for me to promote. I have to advertise my product. They don't. Uh, in August, the company said it was eliminating some in-house brands that weren't resonating with customers and would relaunch some items under existing brands like Amazon Basics and Amazon Essentials. Booksellers and authors have also been urging the Department of Justice to investigate what they've called Amazon's monopoly power over the market for books and ideas. I also have books on Amazon, my own books that I've written. We won't talk about that. In a in successful, if successful, a court date, a court case would be a big boost for the FTC uh, who says Amazon's, uh, oh, it just talks about, Amazon had fought to get her recused from agency probes against the company because she criticized the company. The FTC has aggr aggressively attempted to blunt big tech's influence uh, but has been unsuccessful recently in some of the me most high-profile cases, including its bid to block Microsoft's takeover of the video game maker Activision Blizzard. I think that's small potatoes in comparison to what Amazon is doing. Uh, hugely small potatoes. So the District of Columbia has also sued Amazon over its treatment of third-party sellers. That lawsuit was thrown out by a federal judge earlier last year and is currently under appeal. Um, so they're being sued for all sorts of reasons, but my point is this. Amazon is one of the biggest marketplaces in the world. So one of the biggest marketplaces in the world, uh, when they start become a seller on that marketplace, and when they start to compete with the third party sellers on that marketplace, it becomes a problem. I hope that this lawsuit is successful. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear different, differing opinions. I'd love to hear what you think about Amazon being sued. I'd love to hear if you think that Amazon has an unfair advantage and uses that uh, to hurt third-party sellers because that's the opinion that I have. So let me know in the comments what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am always keeping it real on this channel and um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens in this lawsuit. Thanks for watching guys. As always, I appreciate it.